What's up? Ah! Oh, what's up? Back once again with another video. It's been a minute since we've done a UFC anything really, but we've got a good one for you today. UFC 257. That's right, McGregor Poirier 2. What sparked this video today was a tweet from Mystic Mac, one of Conor McGregor's alter egos. You know, like in WWF or WWE, WWF back then, Mick Foley had Cactus Jack Dude Love and Mankind. Well, Conor McGregor's got McGregor and Mystic Mac. And Mystic Mac made his predictions because I Mystic Mac and I predict these things. These things. Well, in honor of Mystic Mac's return, we've got the proper 12, the number. This is the first batch that was produced about three years ago, brewed in Irish barrel, bourbon barrels in Ireland for about three years, three years, and then rushed to the stores. Anyway, Conor McGregor, I saw that tweet and I was like, oh my gosh, wow, he's back. Now, what was really cool was he said earlier in the tweet, you know, Poirier is a good fighter, a great fighter, I like him. It was kind of like a backhanded trash talk. So this is a new McGregor we're dealing with, right? Because let's face it, McGregor's already made his money, right? You've heard that term before. He doesn't necessarily need to do the antics, talk as much trash as he needs to before, which also kind of um, reinforces what some fighters he's faced in the past have said, like Jose Aldo, who said behind cameras and closed doors you know he's not like this and McGregor himself is even open up about that he's a showman he's a sportsman you know he has to sell these these fights and things like that and he's mastered that the mind games and even in his first fight against Poirier right he was backstage there's the iconic clip that's I think in every McGregor highlight where he's backstage and he's got his cell phone and he's listening to Dustin Poirier's interview about him and Dustin Poirier is just riled up he just hates him he's like I've, I think Poirier said, I've never disliked somebody this much that I've had to fight. And McGregor just like busted out laughing because he's like, in his mind, he's like, this is mental warfare. Like, I don't actually hate you. How can I actually hate you, Dustin Poirier? I'm excited for this. Both fighters are bigger. They're more experienced. They're stronger. Um, if you look back at their first fight, as you can see here, both fighters were, you know, fighting at featherweight having to make that cut back then. Um, and so both fighters look significantly smaller, you know, because they were fighting at 145 pounds. They had to cut down and get that weight. But what's very interesting is McGregor finished this fight at one minute and 46 seconds into the first round. Now his tweet was saying he was gonna do it inside 60 seconds. So McGregor is planning to finish the fight 46 seconds faster, at least better than last time. In the words of Coach Greg, Conor McGregor must have hired Greg Doucette because he's planning on finishing Poirier faster than last time, better than last time, more spectacular than last time. Now, given Poirier's, his last performance was, I think for diehard Poirier fans, was, was very good. It was very exciting against Dan Hooker. Me personally, I don't like MMA fights that just stay standing up and striking. You know, if I want to see a pure striking match, I'm going to watch glory kickboxing. I'm going to watch some Muay Thai fight. I'm going to, you know, probably even watch boxing. But this is mixed martial arts. And to me, the epitome of mixed martial arts is ground and pound. Like to me, ground and pound is synonymous with MMA. Maybe because when I was first getting into MMA way back in, not way back, but maybe like 10, 12, or even 15 years ago, you had the Tito Ortiz's, Randy Couture. Even before that, you know, Pride and early UFC days, you had Mark Coleman, right? These are like the like the godfathers or fathers of like ground and pound, George St. Pierre, but St. Pierre could mix it up like nobody else. But that's what I'm saying is it's like Couture said, you're imposing your will on your opponent. Conor McGregor is planning on finishing Dustin Poirier 46 seconds faster at least. This is the quote from the first fight, the lead up, the build up, right? This is when McGregor started getting in it. Big trash talk. McGregor goes on to say, <clears throat> I'm going to crack him with a jab. He's going to wobble. Then I'm going to put him away early. It's going to be a first round KO. Mark my words. That's what Mystic Max said. 
Another interesting thing, I did a little bit of research into Mystic Max predictions. When McGregor got to his third UFC fight, when they brought the UFC back to Dublin, he made a prediction uh, in that fight. And uh, he's actually 50%. So of the six uh, predictions that he made, he only came through on three of them, okay? Um, but against Dustin Poirier, he's 100%, right? Not only did he predict he was gonna win, he predicted how he was going to win in the round. And that's exactly what happened. Now, I think we're gonna see, similar to what happened to Cowboy, I think we're gonna see this. I think Poirier, he's obviously been fighting, he's been competing, but like McGregor even said in his tweet, Poirier's a great fighter, but he said great is levels, of, is levels below me. So uh, I do think that McGregor is gonna come out, I think he's going to be impressive. He's probably gonna end the fight in the first round, not taking anything away from Poirier, but this is a different, more focused, more mature, bigger Conor McGregor. He's got more money to dedicate to camps and, and he's got his, his McGregor Fast training program. He created his own training regimen and program, right? And that you know is a product that you can buy, that you can, you know, for conditioning and cardio and strength and all types of different things. And so, I just think that he's 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 more, much more focused now, especially that he's kind of fighting on his own terms, right? This like once a once a year fight. I think he's 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 much more focused. He's bigger. He's healthier. He's in a better state of mind. He's got two kids. You know, he's engaged to you know the love of his life, his longtime girlfriend Dee Devlin. He's got a child on the way. I think McGregor's in a really good place. Good people around him, and I think he's going to use that to catapult. And frankly, I'm gonna even make my own Mystic Mac prediction. I think McGregor is gonna be victorious against his second match with Poirier. And I think that's gonna set up a another rematch, uh, probably arguably the biggest rematch. It's gonna set up McGregor, Habib too. And it's gonna be very interesting now if we see the new McGregor in this fight, right? Is McGregor going to go down the same trash talking road he did originally with Habib or is he going to kind of take this kind of respect but you know I'll still say what I'm going to do backhanded kind of approach to it and I think that's going to be very interesting because Habib as it is doesn't need any fuel to that fire so I think that's where McGregor kind of messed up he doesn't need to fight Habib mad or pissed off he just needs to fight regular Habib okay then go from there so let me know what you guys think in the comments below who, what do you think the outcome of the McGregor Poirier number two fight will be? Do you think McGregor will be juiced up on his proper 12, or do you think he's gonna need it or not need it at all? And um, or you know, do you think Poirier will win? How do you think he'll perform? Just let me know, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, so that you guys can catch all these videos from all these trades that I have, the entertainment. The, the personality, the persona, the how, everything. I'm making it better for you. And this has been Mark of All Trades, reminding you to take up as many trades, hobbies, disciplines as you want, hone them, develop them, because a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Out.